We are live at the edge of 228 Young, and our next guest is truly one of the connoisseurs of the musical instrument known as the rock guitar. And over his great career, he has given us so much enjoyment, and he's put all that into a new autobiography called Slash. Please welcome to the edge of 228 Young, Slash! Great read, fun read. It, 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 it's it's conversational and anecdotal, which are the best kind of books for these sort of things. Yeah. And it's the type of book that you can read cover to cover, or you can easily pick it up if you want to read about a specific area o- over your life or career. But uh, but the main thing is it's it's written in a, in a very conversational way. And the first up, uh, Anthony Boza, you guys who read, uh, the guy who you wrote it with, did this yeah. work with Eminem, Rolling Stone. He really the two of you captured it. He's, so a, great. he's a great guy. He, I mean, he really helped facilitate my doing this because he he was so excited and enthusiastic and really fascinated by the whole thing. One of the great ins- inspiring things, I think, for anybody who, who wants to pursue something that they're passionate about is we all start off being kids. We're all kids, and, yeah. and, and, and uh, you know, there's sometimes we all think that you were born, like, a, as a mid-20s guitar yeah. hero. But no, you, you were that kid, too, who got turned on, and the parts of the book about, about getting uh, that first guitar with the one string on it right. and uh, going to your teacher and, uh, and, and the whole evolution, and, and particularly the, uh, the kudos uh, that you paid to Steve and for, for, for helping you start the formation of yeah, what you became. He, he was the one that really inspired it. It was my relationship with him that, that introduced me to electric guitar in a different way than I was familiar with it from before, which was just listening to it. That exciting thing that he used to do where he just take the guitar, bang on it at peak, you know, top volume. And that was just such a rush, you know. And then we had that teenage fantasy, well, let's start a band. And that's how it all started for me. Huh? There's a line in there that you say about the solos from the first record or, or just in general when, when Gun started going. And it said that your solos and your playing had a first time feel to it. Yeah, there's something very cool about that. Um, when I hear, you know, Guns on the radio or something. And, um, you know, it's not the most technically proficient guitar playing in the world, but it has a certain kind of a feel to it that is very eager and, 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 and very expressive. And although I couldn't articula- articulate the notes as much as I can articulate the words, or if I articulate the notes as well as I probably could now, it still has that kind of energy to it that makes it very sort of youthful and exuberant. Kind you, of. you know, it's always interesting to, to, I was looking through it just for stories behind the songs, right? Because mm-hmm. some have great stories, but this one particular song I'm going to play right now, with with which is just so beautiful as it was when we first heard it, uh, there was no real story. You kind of just, it was a piece here, a piece there. You were in uh, the studio and poof, uh, Sweet Child of Mine came together. Yeah, it, it, it was actually one of those things where the, the, the guitar riff just sort of came to me and then Izzy started playing the chords behind it and we started to get sort of an instrumentation thing going. And then Axel, unbeknownst to us, was upstairs listening to us doing it and starting to write about Aaron. And, uh, you know, I didn't take the song that seriously. And a couple of days later, we had rehearsal. And he goes, hey, play that jam you guys were doing down in the living room the other day. And so we started playing it, and he had this whole song mapped out. And it just became like that anthem that became the song that it is. You know? Everyone's talking about Guitar Hero. So what, what, was, uh, what was the story there? Um, well, let's see. I got introduced to Guitar Hero 2 and uh, subsequently got addicted to the game, had to beat it, that whole thing. And uh, then what happened was a little bit later on, I got called up to see if I wanted to be involved in the new Guitar Hero, which was sort of like a, a dream come true. It was like one of those things that you get asked to do amongst a million things that's actually really cool. So we went down and we talked and we shot some ideas back and forth and uh, there you have it. So <laughs> it's a different experience, but it turned out really cool. For all the great music and the more to come, well, thank you for spending thank, time with thank, us today. Thanks a lot, because I, I, I really love doing it. <laughs> uh, Slash will be at uh, the Chapters at Festival Hall, 7 o'clock tonight. Man, good hanging with you. Best to you. Right, Double Revolver, 102.1 The Edge.